Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Gwen can do it in a pinch. It's more consistent damage for Fly. Even if he does get shut down, it will remain uh, with a lot of utility. So, liking this adaptation from Afrika a lot. On the side of Fred Abreon, actually looking to do the same thing here again. And uh, that's, I think, my big question this game for Keen is they're going to go in here, but this is a Tom Kench. Oh, they're actually putting the pressure forward here. The exhaust has to come out, but Lands will be forced to flash. And now they're coming in here, and look at this gank timing from Umji. There's no summoners in the bottom lane, and that is going to be two kills three minutes in for Fred and Freon. And in the first game, it didn't happen as much. Sword hand boots, like, on his first back. Like, it's so much damage, especially on a champion like the Rumble that has always loved magic penetration on his first back, right? Like, yeah. As far as his itemization go, like way back, you know, when he was still a top laner, can't believe we're saying that, but that that, that was <laughs> that was what he used to play as, right? And then yeah. he was a mid laner, now he's a jungler, sometimes mid, possibly even support. Because the base damages on stuff like the equalizer are so high, getting that back, especially augmented predator is amazing. Without the shockwave and the Sana ultimate available, I feel like Bro can just move in here if they please to, uh, or if they choose to do so. Yeah. I love this stance where it's like you want to put pressure on in the mid lane, but now Bro getting a little bit caught off guard. Nice kick from Dread, but the damage is coming out. They're all trying to chase the Lee Sin, and they will be able to pick him up. And now the rest of Afrika can't funnel in. A perfect objective there coming on in, and they do get the kill as that is two now going the way of Bro. And oh, he's actually just gonna get bubbled up here and down will go fly as well. This is a disaster for Afrika, but Bro play it so cleanly and are able to pick up three more. And you see, Afrika, I don't think you need to go for this. I think you recognize we've used two of our ultimates. Um, this team is really, really strong. And that's easier said than uh, done, right? Oh, they're gonna go. They're actually going, and that's the Rift Herald picked up by Umpty. Hoya says, yeah, sure, take me down, I don't care. That's fine. So Keen is going to pick up the kill. It's actually really nice for Keen. Again, and they just bully him off even without the ultimates, right? There's still a fate call available. And this is a really big problem for Afrika. Once you start giving up objectives like this, I know. Because if none of those things happen, it's such a hard game to play out from Afrika. Whereas Fred Abrium, you know, you're ahead. Oh, Not nice hard. positioning here from Dread. Will there be any follow-uppers? This is the one-on-one. -on -one. The Equalizer comes out, and look at the damage Dread takes, but the Q comes in, and Umpty's Flash isn't enough to get away from Lee Sin's damage. A nice play there from the Ninja in the jungle. Ready roll play. Come on down, save the turret at least. Top lane, same story. You know, we don't really need to see this to see, you know, to see what we've gone for, but big trade actually under the turret, and Keen is just gonna solo him. As Hoya thought, you know, if I could get him under the turret, maybe it'll be an back. Teleport into this Drake, and they get get this Drake fight. Afrika's back in the game. Okay, well, a lot of posturing over here. They're gonna be looking for Fly, and where is the Ken? He is gonna get there on time, just barely, but the Oriana will die to the Ignite anyway. And now Keen, once again, kind of alone here. Dread trying to get a kick down, only hits the one. Look for the assassination there onto Henna. But this is just a broken fight for Afrika. They cannot win this one. And that's going to be Bro picking up yet another Drake in this game. You cannot get caught there as Fly. That's not allowed. You win that fight. I think nine times out of ten, right? Hoya can't join until later. You have a fat Gwen that just had the back come in. You have an incredibly strong team fight. You cannot afford to get caught there, and that might be the one. The pressure is on. Just take a good fight, Frika. <laughs> well, we'll see, if, <laughs> we'll see if they can do it. Uh, they've got a nice little surround with the Gwen on the opposite side, but the TP comes in, and a really nice kick comes out from Dread, able to get Lava into the mix, and a huge shockwave comes down from Fly, as Afrika are finally here to play halfway through game number two, as the double kill, the triple kill rather, for Fly will be coming in, and it should be yet another one as they're looking for Hoya, but actually kind of, uh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Stop the tape. <laughs> That's the end of that yeah, one. I knew it was too good to be true, it was, it was looking a little bit too clean there. Pretend I didn't Wait. see that. Wait. No, 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 no. Oh, they got TP coming in. No! And is looking to steal the Drake. This no! is the soul, and he gets it. The no! Infernal Soul comes in. 
and the curse of Afrika continues. Now, there are going to be two people on the side of Bro that do go down for this. Do they just run at the Baron? They don't have teleport on the Gwen, and it looks like Keen says no. So that's just going to be Infernal Soul going over to Freda Breon. I need a moment. <laughs> on that's the worst example of win the battle, lose the war that I've, I've seen in a long, long time. Unbelievable. Yeah. And honestly, you know, if you win this game, Fred Breon, at that pop vote goes to Hannah because that was the, the presence of mind to be like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to go, right? I'm going to, I'm going to sneak behind the main lines. I'm going to make it work. Now they go for a Hail Mary Baron, but even if you do get this, you know, the trade soul versus, uh, for Baron is never oh. worth it. Okay, there, uh, there is a lot of sieging coming out here. Keen is going to throw out a bunch of needles, but can they steal it? No, the answer will be Delight goes over the wall. They do have the Fates Call. Well, then they do have that Baron, as you did mention. Keen is kind of out of control right now. He is at about three items. But the Equalizers are coming out. They're actually looking for more. That's a double Solar Flare hit, and now... Do they have the damage to get in there? Keen is just a monster, though! Nobody can do anything to this Gwen, and Toy is just trying to survive. The Shockwave will go wide, but Bro are immediately realizing, hey, we, we can't deal with this Gwen right now. Maybe this is what Afrika needed all along. They were just scaling into Gwen being a champion, because Keen can finally <laughs> take the rest of his team, and we say it jokingly, but this is the power of Gwen. This is what I believe this champion should be way higher in priority, especially with some of the top lanes that we have in the LCK, which has currently been, and I was getting uh, pretty upset over the loss of an Infernal Drake, but it might not even matter if Afrika is able to maintain the out so that Lava can just throw Sticky Travel Bubbles into a Baron of Team. It's not going to work, and Afrika Freaks, they're going to be more than happy to just walk into your base, start a team fight, because once you get this Elder buff, um, it's supposed to prevent the exact situations in which Umpty excels, which are uh, absurdly long games. Well, we got Teleport coming in here. And going for the kick, that's not going to do too much, but Umpty is taking way too much damage, and Lahens with the final blow. Getting that lick down, that's going to be the Rumble going down. Still has his Flash, and that is Elder Drake going the way of Afrika easily here. Bro not even going to contest it at this time. Well, the same belt is that, uh, that Infernal Soul looking less and less relevant <laughs> as the time goes on. And now we're getting to the point where... Uh, the closest guy on the map is 16, and Hoya is level 14. So, um, <laughs> what exactly are they going to do against the Squen? The answer is not in because she has to be careful. And against Baron Duck minions. It's not going to be easy. There should be multiple inhibitors going the way of Afrika now. So look at that. Uh, that's, a, that's a gold lead. Found by Afrika after 25 minutes. That's a, that's a rare one right there. Yeah. <laughs> and I would not mind if they just went for the Nexus turret here. Your bot lay, uh, wave is really far away. Yeah, okay. So the Equalizer is going to come out. Pretty lackluster. Just trying to clear the wave here, but it's, it's a bit rough. Fly, electing not to shockwave onto Hannah there, who was standing on top of the ball. As we are going to have the play coming out here now, the shockwave is going to miss, flash away, but just look at Keen, dragged into the pit, actually, gets a double kill, and might be looking for more. He's got the Elder, not going to get that final one, but it does not matter. We are going to be going to a game number three, as on the backs of Keen and his Gwen, a freak are able to take game number two. And in pretty exciting fashion, all calculated, right, Chronic?